folks, welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. In this episode, I'm going to be telling you what I like and don't like about the Garmin Force. I'm thinking about a switch from the Ultrex, and this video, we come to a conclusion. Hey folks, thanks for watching. This is going to be an up close look at the Garmin Force. I look forward to sharing my information with you. Please subscribe. Let's get to the Force. Get ready for a fantastic episode from Three Pound Fishing, thanks to these great sponsors. All right, folks, I'm gonna utilize the footage that I took from Perry County Lake. There was a lot of footage that did not get used, and I wanna share that footage with you. That means close-ups of the Garmin Force. So I'm gonna put this into two different categories. One is things I like and things I don't like, and that's it. It's really simple, folks. This is my opinion. Everybody's gonna have their own opinions on this, but some of the things were definitely decision makers for me deciding whether or not I would go with the Garmin Force or stay with my Ultrax. I guess the first impressions I get compared to the Ultrax is the size of it. This thing is massive. Um, I would like to venture to say that actually the body of the Garmin is twice as big as the Ultrax. Um, I think one of the, also the other thing that I've noticed big time is that you don't have that huge cable coming out. So check this out. The cable management system is pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna freeze it right here. Look how big this is. It's huge, folks. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's definitely not a deal breaker. They make up for it because actually the lift assist that he's gonna do right now is extremely good. So even though it's big, it still is light. The other thing I'd like to point out is the cable management system. This thing's by far the most spectacular thing I really do like about the Force. Uh, no big honking cable that we're used to. So that's, again, a positive. And so there you go. Just a, it's a good construct. It actually feels very good. Um, it feels sturdy. It's just big. I'll tell you what, I don't hear anything. I really don't. It's got a nice power indicator here on the top. I, I definitely like that. I love the ability to know exactly where you're at power wise rather than having to look down at your pedal. The power knob on the pedals click so you hear the clicks but then you also see the light on the uh, on the Garmin Force body. Easy to pick up and it does rotate automatically to stow. I like it so far. I am surprised by how big it is. I'll say that again. So it is big. It, it is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So you notice that I've mentioned that twice now because it is daunting the size of this thing. And again, it's, that's not a deal breaker, but you got to remember I'm coming from an Ultrex and I think the world of the Ultrex, I really do. So it's difficult to get over some of the things that are just, just a little off. But I'll tell you, up to this point, you're going to see a lot of likes. I mean, I do like that power indicator. I love the easy assist. I love the automatic rotation of the uh, the trolling head as you're putting it back into the boat. I think that's really that's really awesome. Um, it's quiet. It's strong. So these are all positive factors that I'm taking into account and I'm absorbing them while I'm on the water. But the ultimately, what comes down to is actually reactiveness. Um, how quick the head turns and is it on point with me touching the pedal because at the end of the day folks I'm not looking at the head that much. I'm not checking out um, Where it's positioned. I know where it's at based on feel and I want to make sure I feel good about the pedal So that's what we're gonna go to next So wireless I guess it's got two AA batteries in it can last for up to a year for the average angler whatever that is and uh, like some, you said about this, like this. So there's like, a, is there a, any adjustments you've made to this whatsoever? No. You see how fast that happened, folks? It didn't. It didn't take me ten seconds to push it up and down, look at the head, and identify there's something not right about this. And. I didn't want to cast judgment yet because I still don't know whether or not you can adjust this or not, but I, imme I immediately noticed this compared to the Ultrax. And 
You can tell even by the look on my face that I'm like, gosh, there's got to be something wrong here because I'm feeling like I'm pushing through a sponge before I'm getting the head to turn. And I think somebody that hadn't had the experience with another trolling motor such as the Ultrex, how quick and reactive it is, you wouldn't notice any difference. I think that, you know, Eric, my buddy, and anybody else that has the Garmin Force probably... Um, don't even notice it if you hadn't come from an Ultrax. If you came from something else, maybe it, maybe it doesn't bother you. But if you came from an Ultrax, you'd, you'd notice this. Now, again, I do not know if it can be adjusted or not. So I'm definitely going to go back on the water to experience this pedal again. But you can see I continue to look at it. I can't let it go. It's, it can't leave my mind. No, you got it. I'm with you. I don't have as much control with no with my shoes on. I like to, I like to use the trolling motor with socks. <laughs> And I know everything takes, you got to get used to something different. Right. Um, but I notice there's something springy. Yeah. And I don't know if you can tighten it up. You might be able to tighten it up. This is going to be a spoiler alert, and probably not. But this is the face I give when I'm disappointed. Um, I had saved a lot of money, had planned on actually upgrading from the Ultrax, and this was really the point right here that I knew that I wasn't going to be upgrading to the Force. Um, check it out, folks. Um, it always pays to get out on the water and experience some of these devices before you, you plunge down. Now, if I wasn't coming from the Ultrax, I probably would go with the Force. I guess I would, because I wouldn't know any better. But I'll tell you, coming from the Ultrax, it's just not worth the money, at least at this point, for me, uh, to do that step up. Now, it has some great features. Let's not forget about that it's strong. We haven't even talked about the strength of the device. It's incredibly strong. It's quiet. It's got some super great uh, parts of it that I think are fantastic, and I hope Minkota takes you know note of that. But at the end of the day, it is the foot pedal that I am attached to most of the day and if I don't feel 100% about that foot pedal which is interesting I never thought about it before doing the video um, that is the world to me is that foot pedal making sure that it is reactive it is tight the construct is top-notch and unfortunately I think Garmin Force fell short in that little category for, for me just coming from an all tracks and what I'm used to feeling right, well, it's gonna be different. oh yeah 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 without a doubt yeah there's some there's a there's something springy. There's almost a lag. See that? See this? I could. I could. Oh. Hmm. All right. As you see, I'm like a dog with a bone. I won't let it go. But let's talk about some things that I know people are going to be curious about. Spot lock. Okay, at this price point, folks, I expect them to have spot lock, and it is a good spot lock. Is it any better than the Ultrex? It's the same. No big deal. I personally think it's about the same. I expect these type of devices to have remote controls, and it does, and it's a fantastic remote control. It does come with a perk in that it is a waterproof remote control, which I think is very nice. Fits good in the hand. There it is. And... Um, yeah, I think at this price point, you should expect these type of things without a doubt. I like the idea that it floats and that it's waterproof. You can tell that it is. Good construct, feels good in the hands, good size. Thumbs up on it, for sure. So at the end of the day, Garmin has done a lot of great things for trolling motors. Let me tell you, they're going to raise the bar. They're going to make the other manufacturers raise the bar. And, and so I applaud them for that. But for me, personally, switching from the Ultrex to the Force, well, folks, it's not going to happen. So there you go. Um, but I can tell you this, it is a great trolling motor. I think that if you're just entering the market, I think it might be a great one for you. It has a lot of great... Um, things about it but at the end of the day I'm gonna have to pass because I do think the foot pedal needs a little bit of work and guess what I do believe Garmin's gonna get there I think that they are going to raise the bar continually and all the different functions of fishing which would be monitors live scope of course those type of things sonar and now trolling motors so it's great to have them I think they're gonna push the envelope and I think uh, it's, we've got a lot of great things coming folks hey thanks for watching I appreciate it please subscribe three pound fishing baby